Being the nation with the world's most population means whatever happens in that country is sure to impact the other states in the global scenario and the earth. Yes, you must have guessed it right. We are talking about China. Since Xi Jinping's win, China is once again getting strong and bold on its deteriorating and heart-shaking COVID headlines. The world prays for the Chinese, as Dr. Eric Ding tweeted on 19 December 2022. Thermonuclear bad hospitals completely overwhelmed in China ever since restrictions dropped. Epidemiologists estimate 60% of China and 10% of Earth's population will likely be infected over the next 90 days. Deaths likely in the millions, plural. As China struggles, facing life-threatening alerts at primetime TE today, we'll quickly try to brief you on the problem of China and COVID, providing the gist of the entire situation. What do you need to know? To understand the situation of China and COVID as of now, what you need to know primarily is its enforcement of the zero COVID policy. Hong Kong and South Korea were among other nations that practiced this strategy, while the entire world focused on limiting infections, allowing normal activities to continue. As per the zero COVID strategy, even the asymptomatic cases were made hospitalized strictly. The small outbreaks led to hard lockdowns. Suspected cases, and all contacts associated with the individual were made to undergo long periods of isolation. As harsh as it might sound, this policy did lead to the successful smashing down of the virus, but only for a brief period. While most countries have concentrated on not allowing infections to go out of control while allowing normal activities to continue, China has pursued a zero-COVID strategy from the beginning. It was reported that with its 25 million population, the financial capital of China, Shanghai, was declared for an entire lockdown, following the zero-COVID strategy. Now, everybody knows that the best protection against any sort of virus is to make the person's body immune to taking the hit of such a virus. This is much like the phrase or case with iron cuts the iron. What China tried to do was put the people behind bars to protect them from the virus instead of making them immune enough to take the hit. Much of its success was due to the fact that it was an authoritarian nation the vaccinations. The amount of booster shots that have been given is unclear, just like the majority of China's data. Nonetheless, as per some sources, despite giving out approximately 3.5 billion rounds of vaccines, China's population of over 80 has received relatively little of it. The efficiency of the two Chinese vaccines, currently being used, Sinovac and Sinopharm, has also been questioned. The population becomes incredibly vulnerable in the absence of a booster shot and natural immunity as vaccines lose their efficacy over time. China is facing dangers for the second time. The vast majority of people in China have not contracted the virus. Thus, they lack immunity. Vaccines do not appear to significantly reduce the risk of infection. Therefore, when a fast-spreading variety like Omicron does manage to overcome the formidable barriers of the zero-COVID approach, as it occasionally can, it comes across a sizable population of vulnerable individuals. After that, the infection spreads like wildfire. This is what occurred in March and April, and it appears that this is still taking on now. For the second occasion this year, China is in peril comparable to this one. Compared to Delta or Beta, Omicron causes a milder illness, yet it can still kill older people. In February, the same thing happened in South Korea and Hong Kong. Up until that point, those nations had also managed to keep their people free of the virus thanks to South Korea's intensive testing and Hong Kong's zero-COVID policy. However, when Omicron eventually made a breakthrough, both nations experienced tens of thousands of cases and daily fatalities. The Omicron wave of the winter of 2021-22 struck India at a time when a significant number of people had already had two vaccinations but the variant managed to overcome those immune defenses and infect people. According to Figelding, the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP's goal, is let whoever needs to be infected, infected. Let whoever needs to die, die. Early infections, early deaths, early peak, early resumption of production. Situation. Since the government disclosed four deaths between November 19 and November 23, China has not reported any COVID deaths in Beijing. This has raised concerns about the veracity of the numbers, though. According to one international report, as the COVID-19 virus spreads throughout the Chinese capital, 
Dead bodies have started pouring into one of Beijing's authorized crematoria for COVID-19 victims recently. The circumstance provides a preliminary knowledge of the human cost of the nation's sudden relaxation of pandemic prohibitions. The number of deaths on China's mainland is drastically underreported. In Beijing, there has been a recent explosion in funeral services brought on by the sharp rise in mortality, according to a survey of hospitals, funeral homes, and related funeral industry chains. China's decision to only count covered deaths due to respiratory failures raises even more questions. The epidemiologist claims that cremations take place nonstop in Beijing. There are too many mortuaries and need for refrigerated containers. Moreover, funerals are being done round the clock. As many have already noted, it is like spring 2020 is playing itself again. But this time it's being executed in China, and the risk of its impact covering the eastern mass is obviously apprehensive. It has been challenging to gauge the extent of China's coronavirus outbreak since testing restrictions have been loosened. As fewer people test themselves at public facilities, the number of daily national case counts has steadily decreased, and earlier this week, health authorities ceased publishing daily totals of asymptomatic cases for the first time since the pandemic started. This is Primetime TV. Like, share, subscribe, and keep watching our channel to stay up to date on the latest news.